When Charles London brought her to Chick Webb, he didn't let her sing the first time. He said, I don't want her, she's ugly. But then Charles started bringing her to rehearsals and after two weeks she sang in front of Chick and she memorized all the melodies and all the songs. And the band members convinced him to take her. She could swing like nobody else. Short time after, she proved that it was the best decision she has never, he has ever made. She was a shy black girl living in racist times. She had no professional training, but yet she has reached the highest peaks of career and collaboration in popular music at that time. She became a legend, a millionaire, loved by millions of people, staying modest and cheerful. She had incredible control of her voice, incredible technique. And she was one of the pioneers of scat singing, which is using the voice as an instrument. She would sing horn solos better than the trumpet players would play. This is Airmail Special by Ella Fitzgerald.
Thank you. She's one of my personal best teachers. I've uh, sang so much of Ella Fitzgerald, and uh, she's amazing. But now, the next artist. Well, when you hear her voice, you uh, recognize it immediately. You recognize it immediately. She's one of the artists that you either hate or love. Yet she is reported to have sold 40 million records worldwide as of 2015. She has won the Polar Music Prize from the Royal Swedish Academy of Music in recognition of her deeply personal music and lyrics, her precise arrangements and her unique voice. According to Times Magazine from 2015, she is one of the most influential people in the world and according to the Rolling Stones magazine, one of the greatest singers and songwriters in the world. She was nominated for 15 Grammy Awards. She won the Best Actress Award at the 2000 Cannes Film Festival. She has been an advocate for environmental causes in her home country, Iceland. She was one of the digital pioneers in music. And her album, album Biophilia, was an interactive app album with its own education program. Her deeply psychological take in the music video for human behavior defined what breakthrough really meant for 90s music videos. She's many things, but for me, she's a true artist first, combining all of the art forms in the most consistent and unique way full of playfulness, unlimited creativity, childlike curiosity, macro context like the universe, the nature, psychology. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Human Behavior by Björk. human and human behavior be ready be ready to get confused and me and my hair after there's definitely 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 no logic in human behavior but yet so yet so irresistible and me Terribly, terribly moody of human behavior. Then all of a sudden, turn happy. And then my hair after, but all to get involved in the exchange of human emotions is ever so, ever so satisfying. You 
unconventional, provocative, a pop icon. From her early age, she's been determined to become an influential artist, a star. She performed hundreds of times without being acknowledged. She's heard she's not a Hollywood material. She's met authorities who said, you're not good enough or pretty enough. You're not thin enough. You can sing well enough or dance well enough. You can't write a song well enough and you'll never win a Grammy. But she proves them all wrong. And it doesn't end there. She takes the imperfections and turns them into art. She uses them to stand up for the insecure. She stands up for the LGBT community. She stands up for grievers. She fights for the rights to mental health care. And she uses her performances to break taboos with her honesty and boldness. This is from her last album, where she is so raw and stripped of the crazy and eccentric. Million Reasons by Lady Gaga. Good one, 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 good one,
thank you. It was Marius, Vukas, and Anna. Thank you so much.